What's up, Impact family? Kevin Moss coming at you with another Tricky Tuesday. But instead of doing an actual trick today, we're going to teach some setups for basic tricking combinations and kicks. Uh, Master Solano put together a little tutorial on the Pop, 300, uh, Pop 360 and the 540 kick, which are awesome kicks, and they use a lot of the same uh, techniques and transitions we use in tricking. So. Prerequisites for these moves are you have to have two legs or one if you can do one that'd be awesome send me a video if you can and you just need a lot of space see I'm outside today as I was last week so I don't have a lot of room in the house so. setups today are a cheat setup a swing setup and a pop so my son already did the pop you have two feet together and you pop off the ground that's a pop for a cheat you're gonna sit in a good fighting stance. Uh, I'll do it this way. So it's basically a 360. You're gonna turn your body, you're gonna pump up your left leg, jump up with the other side. That's a cheat. So all together it looks like this, like that. And then you just jump. And the swing is my favorite. You pick a leg and you swing up and you jump at the same time. So for the trick that you can use is a gainer which I'm not going to do because my ankle's not too great today. Um, but I'll show you a swing look technique. It's just up and throw a hook kick. That's one of my favorite ones to do. So you just swing up, bring this leg to the shoulder as high and hard as you can. Swing your arms up. Breakdowns right now. We're going to start with the cheat and work our way to the swing. So cheat is the hardest setup only because you don't get to step into it. Uh, for the pop, you can stand here and step into it for a swing. You get a nice big wind up, hop, come up with the cheat. You're literally just planted. You have to make the, tor the rotations. You gotta make the power by jumping this way. Um, the best way to go into a cheat is to put another trick into it. So if I was gonna do a 360 round or a yeah, 360 round or a 540, I'd like to throw in a kick to get my momentum going that way. So when I kick, I spin to my left. Um, you have to figure out which way you spin. Last week we did the thing where you jump up, so we're going to do that again. So to figure out which way you spin, the easiest way um, that will help you trick. So if you trick to your right, you're going to do the opposite of what I say. If you trick to your left, you just follow along. So your hands are going to go up, you're just going to jump and spin. And if you're pretty solid, you spin one way. If you go the other way and you're off balance, you spin the opposite way. So for me, I spin to the left. Most people spin to the right. If you're right-handed, you're most likely gonna spin to the right. If you're left-handed, you'll spin to the left. But I'm right-handed and I spin left. You could be the same. Cheat setup. So you're gonna get in a fighting stance. We're gonna try it with a 360 roundhouse kick, all right? So to practice that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit in our fighting stance. I have my right leg forward, left leg back. I'm gonna turn up and put it down. All you're gonna do is practice. You're gonna turn, pick it up, and put it down. One more time, pick it up, put it down. Try not to fall. Try not to fall. All right. The next we're gonna jump. So you're gonna turn, pick it up, and just switch. So here, cheat. So we'll do a 360 roundhouse kick. You can key up, you can breathe. Breathing helps because it just feels a lot better. So we're gonna do the 360 and we're gonna try a 540. We'll see. So for a 360, you stand here. For a 540, what I would recommend is to spin into it. So instead of standing off with the right foot in front, I would stand off with the right foot in the back to turn your body spin up to throw the kick. Um, so I'll demonstrate it. Mine are not great, so don't make fun of me in the comments. If you do, I'll find you. We train in the same place. Right. So I'll try 540. I'll try one more time. That was really ugly. We'll see how that looked, but that's a 540. Uh, if you don't know how to do a 540, go back to Master Salona's tutorial and he'll teach you there. 
he's got a really nice tutorial. So if you guys haven't checked out the YouTube channel, please do and look it up. They're amazing, good stuff, good resources to try. All right, next, we're gonna do the pop step. For this one, it's just gonna do a pop 360. It's a lot easier. And also do a pop 900, which sounds like a lot of spins, but it's basically the same thing as a pop three or pop 360 in the trekking world. It's one full spin and a kick. So all you're gonna do, sit here, you're gonna jump and throw the kick. That's it, that's a pop 900, pop 360, same thing. So you're just gonna, gonna walk into it now, right leg back, left leg front, come up, spin, bam, and throw your kick. Try not to lean your back too much, like I just did, because you'll fall on your face, and it looks funny, but it's fun. All right, next is the swing. Uh, for the swing step, I like to use hook kicks or a wheel kick, only because swinging in and throwing that same leg that you swing off again is very tricky and it's hard to do if you're not good at using the same leg. So you can use this for a swing 540. It's very difficult. I would tr say try and see what happens, but make sure you guys are staying safe and playing, staying, training on something that's soft. Grass is my favorite, or if you have like a pad, train on the pad, or get an old mattress, or when your parents aren't looking and they're out doing something, go grab their mattress. Just kidding, don't do that. That's, that's, right there. that's funny. So we're gonna do a swing hook, and then a swing round. So when you swing, you're gonna bring this leg up as high as you can to your shoulder. So it's basically like a 360 uh, back kick. How you stand here, you're gonna come up, and throw the back kick out. It's the same thing, except you're gonna do a hook or just keep your trail room for a wheel kick. So it's my favorite move to transition to me to another trick. So we'll do the swing hook. We'll do that three times. And then I want you to, on your own, try a swing and then use that same leg to kick. I'm gonna try one too. This is, I'm not gonna ask you to do something I won't do. So we'll try it, see? So three swing hooks. Ready, one, two, and three. And then we'll try the swing 360. So for this one, the best way to do that is to keep your one leg completely straight uh, for safety and aesthetically it looks better. So you're gonna just swing up, keep that leg straight, and try to throw a roundhouse kick. I'd even just say throw a crescent kick until you get comfortable and you're, you can lean your body over. So I'll try the 360 swing round. If it doesn't work out, just do a crescent. Ready? Let's try it together. Ready? You're gonna come up, swing, normal step, and same leg. Ready? Set. I did a crescent. It's ugly, but practice with it. So the cool thing about tricking is when you get it, you get to play with it. The thing we're gonna talk about is combos. So for tricking, combos are how you are known or what you do with your kicks or tricks. So last week we did the butterfly twist. You can work these same tricks with that, with that trick in there to make it look really cool or use a butterfly kick. You can do a cartwheel. You can do a, an aerial, which is a no-handed cartwheel. You can do a one-handed cartwheel. You can do a cartwheel on the opposite hand, which looks really cool. So if you can do that, maybe we'll try that, that trick next week, which is called a palm kick, which is a cartwheel on the opposite arm, and you throw a kick out, which looks really cool. So we're gonna do a basic combo today. We're gonna try a basic combo today. It seems like a lot, but it's gonna come out pretty, pretty easily. So we're gonna do a roundhouse kick. We're gonna do a cheat 360, or just a 360 roundhouse kick. We're gonna do a spin hook and then a butterfly kick. All simple, all really easy. Alright, so we're gonna do roundhouse kick, 360, hook, and butterfly kick. So it looks like this. So try that, see what you can do. Have fun, guys. And remember, train hard, train safe, have fun in this corona times, stay positive, 
stay blessed and tongsu. Alright guys, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna throw out a challenge. I want you guys to take what you learned here today and I want you to send videos out to the Impact Family uh, group on Facebook and show me what kind of things you guys can come up with with using the cheat setup, the swing setup. <laughs> <laughs> now at the end of the video and I got more jokes. And I got some jokes for Just Master Salona because he's a physics guy. I thought some of these would be really funny. Um, so we're gonna do just a regular kid's martial arts joke. So, what vegetable is good at martial arts? Broccoli. That's a good one. Two guys walk into a bar and the other one ducks. I like that one too. Why wasn't the samurai allowed at the basketball team? Because he didn't make the cut. For Master Sona, here's two of here's two for you. What's the common grade in computational physics? C++. And what do you call people who work on really small cars? Quantum mechanics. <laughs>